Welcome to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Update, hosted by the York Group of Downing Fry Realty. Our show will bring you the most up-to-date information on the local real estate market, presented by leading experts in the field. Welcome to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Update. I'm Morgan York with the York Group of Downing Fry, and I'm joined today by our host, Jim York, and his guest, Shelly Anderson, Director of Membership and Marketing at the Club at the Strand. Thank you, Morgan, for the introduction. Well, Shelly, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. So let's uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at The Strand. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. I have uh, been down at the club at The Strand for about 18 months now. I am the membership director and also working in marketing. I have been in the golf business for multiple years. I started off out of college, but started on the retail end of it as a buyer in a golf shop oh. and uh, worked up to doing multiple courses and then to a regional and national level and then transitioned back to the Midwest where I started back into the membership path. So I uh, have been down here, like I said, for about 18 months, really enjoying the climate and the people down here. Well, that's good, and I heard that your husband's a golf professional, right? He is. He is a former PGA Tour player, so we're real excited um, that he is our director of instruction at our golf academy at the Club at the Strand. So we've uh, got some happy memories from him playing on tour and some good experiences. Well, that's good. That's good. Let's uh, give us a little overview of the Strand that for the viewers that doesn't know about it, okay? I mean, I personally live there and I am a member, so I'm a little biased, but uh, just give us a little overview of it, like location, mm -hmm. how many members you have. Perfect. Well, we are conveniently located in Immokalee and I-75, so we're North Naples. We're privately owned. We're one of the few country clubs that are privately owned. Uh, we have about 1,100 homes in the community, but we're not a bundled golf community. We are 27 holes of golf. We've got eight tennis courts, three brand new pickleball courts, a fitness center. We have got a junior Olympic pool, and we've also got several dining venues. So the Strand is 21 years old this fall. It's always been privately owned. The current owners took ownership in 2014. Uh, we've got a great three nine-hole golf courses, which really make us unique. Not a championship 18, but with the way the direction in golf is headed, the three nine-hole courses set up perfectly for the busy families and the aging demographics. Yeah, it certainly does. I don't know if our viewers know, or maybe it's before your time, but they used to have the Honda Classic there for women. Um, I don't know what year that was, but it was in the beginning and that's where I was first introduced to the Strand when I moved down here. Yes, so. exactly. The LPGA uh, was held at the Strand for about two years. They used the Sable course and the Savannah course and they actually took the preserve course and used one of the holes as a driving range because the girls did not want to be on an aqua range. So they had uh, some very nice tournaments there at the time. So tell us the, for our viewers that probably they know this already, but some people might not know, what is the difference between a bundled golf course and being having a membership? A bundled golf community means for every front door in the community, they are a golf member. So if a community has 600 front doors, there's 600 memberships that include the family and guest. Uh, a privately owned as we are, you do not have to be a golf member. So you don't have to, uh, there's different choices for you to make in your membership there. And that leads me into the different memberships that are available. So could you just talk a little bit about that? Perfect. We've got uh, four different levels of membership. We really try to satisfy the different needs. As you said, there's some families and neighborhoods that aren't golfers. So we offer a clubhouse membership that is everything but golf. We move into a sport level where there's a little bit of golf and inclusive of all the other amenities. And then we move into a single golf membership, and then we move into a full family golf membership. We also do our golf memberships based on age. So for the younger families, there is a little bit of a break in a dues line as they're just getting going, starting their families, establishing their careers. So we run three different tiers of aging in our golf memberships. In the social membership, everyone that is owns a home there re, is required to be a social member. That's correct. But there's no initiation fee. For that. No initiation fee for that. There's no food and beverage minimums. 
but it's an opportunity to come and explore all the different events and dining that we offer as well as use of the pool. And we are one of the communities that we do sell memberships outside of our immediate geographical area. So you can be a non-resident and be a member. And tell us about the different amenities that are there, like the fitness center, and we are big in tennis too, besides golf. Yeah, we've uh, got some great eight new um, hard true tennis courts, four are lighted, totally redone in within the last year. So all new clay, new nets, new lines. We have added three pickleball courts that are brand new, that are just booming, uh, with members really enjoying that. We've got a cheeky hut, we've also got a pool, and then our fitness center is actually a separate building. It's a, it's a generous size. There's plenty of about 48 pieces of equipment in there. So plenty of space to get a good workout in as well. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's talk about the, the staff, okay? Because I think that's an important part when you're joining a club or a mm -hmm. member of a club. Staff is really what makes it run, right? Right. So let's, uh, let's start with the chef because Everybody likes to eat, right? Everybody <laughs> likes food, exactly. Well, um, Chef Richard has got an extensive background. Uh, he has been with the club about a year right now, uh, but we're fortunate to have had, we have Charlie Howlin, who is our general manager, right. with about 32 years of experience in the private club industry. So in the past year, he has assimilated a great team with a lot of experience, a lot of exposure, and a lot of talent. Uh, so Chef Richard uh, was experiences in the hotel industry and he felt like he got tired of being in the walls so he wanted to see some people and be a little more creative which the country club allows him to do and he has developed a great you don't see the staff that actually does the cooking for him but he's done a great job of training and developing a team he really out. has I mean everyone I talk to is you know, raves about them, and we've eaten there, obviously, and it's just, there's been a big difference, so. Perfect, good Let, to hear. Let's talk about the tennis pro. Tennis, well, Manny is new to us. Manny has been here about uh, two months. Uh, he is a very accomplished tennis player. He actually played, he is from Ecuador, and he actually played on the Davis Cup for Spain. So he's, a, as I said, a very accomplished player. Uh, he's also a very good pickleball player, so it's a competitive wow. atmosphere amongst the, the pros. And we did a nice exhibition where you learned about pickleball. But Manny is in, in the process of developing some different programs, some different clinics. The goal is for him to start working with some juniors as well. But uh, we are probably one of the better known clubs that have more advanced players in tennis. Uh, the 3.5s and the 4.0s for men and ladies to come compete against each other. In the fitness center? The fitness center is, is a very nice amenity. We've got um, three great personal trainers that you can do personal training with, but there's strength equipment, there is aerobic equipment, and power equipment. Uh, and the hours are very convenient for people to get workouts in as early as 5 a.m. up to 9 p.m. And my favorite part is the golf. So let's let's just talk about the golf pro and that before we get into the golf academy. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very fortunate. Um, Nick is a, a talented young professional that has been on board with us since December. Uh, he's got about eight years of experience. He is um, really created some nice momentum in golf uh, as far as organizing our tournaments, creating some more tournaments. Um, having a Honda Classic qualifier, having a Chubb qualifier, but uh, his two assistants are wonderful. They're both in the PGA program. We're a big believer in the credentials that you acquire by going to school, whether it be through the PGA program or through schooling, and Nick really supports his two assistants, but a uh, very talented young gentleman that's going to go far in the business. They really are. I mean, they, I've enjoyed them. They're just, they're, they're really nice, nice guys. Yes. So. Um, now this guy about the golf academy, I'm not sure about him. Yeah, Your he's, husband, he's a little so. sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about what he's doing over there. Well, we wanted to offer some more amenities to our members. We wanted to uh, be able to offer some opportunities even to non-members. Mm -hmm. So the golf academy is really a little bit in its infancy right now, but uh, JC comes to us. He's, like we said, a, a former PGA Tour player. But um, he is working on the clinics that we offer on Saturday morning, which is available to all our members. 
uh, working on different parts of the game and then also doing some different clinics as far as uh, everyone has a great practice session on the range, but they can't figure out how to take it to the golf course True. and hit the same right. shot. So a little bit of mental management and game management that he can work with you as well. Uh, we would hope to build us a structure at some point so mm -hmm. that we can do some filming. That's really one of the edges uh, in teaching is be able to see yourself on video True. rather than just auditory. Right. Uh, so we hope to develop that. You do have a little section for the golf academy that you built, so it's not on the driving range itself. So. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about your summer program that my grandchildren are going to be in. Uh, for the kids. Yeah, we're excited. We've, we've done some junior programs for the kids at Christmas break and uh, what we're going to offer this summer in golf is three days once a month. It's going to be half days. They're going to be working on different parts of the game and they'll actually get out on the golf course. So it'll be two hours for a six-week session and then I'd also like to say Manny will be in doing some tennis programs as well. His aren't fully developed yet for us to announce, but we really would like to get some juniors at the club this summer to enjoy the amenities. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, you know, during season, there's a lot of social events. I mean, a lot. Mm -hmm. So let's just give a little overview of that because I think that's pretty exciting. People come down here, they buy a house, hopefully from the York group, but uh, they don't know, they don't know people and they want to meet people. So the social events are, I think, very important when you become a member. Yes, I, I, th I think you're spot on. Uh, we are one of the clubs, I think, that we probably overwhelm our members uh, with too many options. We're excited that uh, one of our go-to events is our Wednesday night buffet, mm -hmm. uh, which features uh, carving items, it features chafing dishes, it also has seafood. I think we try to think outside of the box. We did some game nights That's this right. year mm -hmm. with different events. We will always do an opening and closing ceremony with uh, Ben Allen Band opened us this year. And then we've got a luau and roast for our closing ceremony. We threw in dueling pianos. We had a casino night, um, the blues barbecue and beer. Uh, we did an all, all white South Beach party. You know, all the major events are also celebrated with buffets. We've got wine tastings, wine dinners. So there's a lot of opportunity for new members and neighbors to come meet others in a very casual, welcoming environment. It certainly is. You guys are doing a great job. I Thank keep you. telling you that. But Thank you. Uh, weddings and banquets are part of our club too. Maybe just shortly talk about that. Yeah, we're, we're very uh, thrilled that Lauren does a great job with weddings for us. We have got a beautiful outdoor area, botanical gardens, that we're seeing a trend for brides now to not so much get married in churches, but do everything in one location. That's right. So with our botanical gardens, they can get married in a beautiful setting that's very private, very serene, and then move up to our ballroom area with the outdoor seating on the veranda. So it's a great opportunity for um, all brides to consider the, the strand for a wedding venue. And my oldest son got married there. Nice. So uh, before we go into some of the pictures of the strand and the videos strand, we're going to take a little short break and hear something about the York Real Estate Group and we'll be back in one minute. Thank you. Thinking of buying or selling a home in Naples, Marco Island, Bonita or Estero, Florida? Think of the most experienced York Real Estate Group, associated with the number one brokerage in Southwest Florida, Downing Fry Realty, which produces yearly real estate transactions of over a billion dollars. Jim, Michael, and Morgan make up the York Real Estate Group of Downing Fry Realty, with over $275 million in sales transactions, along with offering over 25 combined years experience in the local market. The Yorks can offer the experience and trust you need in a Realtor. Call them today at 239-273-6727 or visit their website at www.naplesyorkrealestate.com. Welcome back. Well, we're going to go to some pictures that you brought, right? Which mm -hmm. I thought so people have a visual of what the strand is all about. So let's take number picture one first. Okay, so this is the clubhouse, right, Shelley? That's beautiful, yes. That's the back of our clubhouse. You're actually looking at the number nine fairway on Savannah at the back of the clubhouse in through the botanical gardens to the back with the veranda up top. Okay, let's go to the next picture here. Well, here's the inside banquet, right? That is our inside ballroom, correct. That's actually a set up for a wedding. Uh, 
but that does show the beautiful dance floor we have and the whole back wall of windows showing the golf course in the background. So inside the clubhouse, that's just a small part. We have a uh, men's grill downstairs and just locker rooms, so it's just a little small piece. That is a picture. very small piece. We're a 55,000 square foot clubhouse, it, so exactly right. We small have a piece. card room and a library and we, we even do. have little computers there, right? People can log on. So. We do. We've got a lot of private rooms, whether somebody would be interested in for a, a private birthday party or meeting. Uh, but a lot of different venues to choose from there. Okay, let's go to the next picture. That's a golf course, right? Yep. Yeah, beautiful overhead view of the golf course, and uh, there is a lot of water on some holes out there, so you want to steer clear of that. Yeah, one nine, there is more water than the other nine, and then the other one's more preserved, so it has a combination which is nice for all types of golfers that want different scenery. Different scenery, correct. So next picture is, gives us another picture of the golf course, but more importantly the pool right the pool area correct uh, we've also unfortunately the picture didn't show it but our new pickleball courts the cheeky hut and the tennis courts are located down there at our fitness center uh, but it is a very nice size pool that's uh, got sun tanning deck and food service around the pool as well yeah you can eat right there inside or outside which is nice you sure can so our next yeah. one is a video of the club okay which is a drone going all the way around in the golf course and we'll look at that right now okay perfect Shelly, thank you for presenting that video and those pictures, but that video was outstanding. Thank you. So I uh, hope our viewers enjoyed that, and I appreciate you coming on the show, and I hope you come back next year and give us another update, okay? Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Thanks, Shelly. Thank you. Bye-bye.